In this video, you learn about the firewall rules involved with Cloud Composer and how to configure them correctly to avoid failures while creating a Composer environment. Let's begin by looking at the list of firewall rules that may be required for creating a Cloud Composer environment. These firewall rules make sure that no firewall rules cause failures, like when you have a firewall rule that denies all egress traffic. In this video, I'll walk you through the firewall rules involved with Cloud Composer show how to create them, and finally, I'll create a Cloud Composer environment. First, your Cloud Composer environment must resolve the IP addresses of Google services. For this, you must configure public DNS or Cloud DNS in your project. If you choose to configure public DNS, keep in mind that you will need to resolve several public serving IP addresses, and you'd have to adjust firewall rules accordingly. With Cloud DNS, you only need to configure connectivity to Google APIs and services through private.googleapis.com or restricted.googleapis.com. Hence, Google Cloud recommends configuring Cloud DNS. To configure Cloud DNS, refer to the following documentation. I configured Cloud DNS for private.googleapis.com in my project as shown here. Moving on, the second firewall rule enables the traffic from the nodes in your environment's GK cluster to reach the private Google API's IP range if you are not using VPC service controls, or the restricted Google API's IP range if you are using VPC service controls, depending on which one you have configured in Cloud DNS. Note that you need the default internet gateway to contact the services. Add a firewall rule that allows egress for TCP port 443 set the destination to the IP range you chose. In this example, I'll add the IP range to point to private Google APIs. Let's create that firewall rule. In the Google console, go to VPC network firewall. Click on create firewall rule at the top right. Give the firewall rule a name. I'll specify composer Google services. Optionally, you can give the rule a description. You can also enable logs if you want to use them for troubleshooting. Select the network. I'll create my environment under my net, so I'll choose that. I'll leave the default priority of 1000. Select egress and allow. You must apply this rule and all other rules I cover in this video to one of these targets. A network tag that you will apply to your environment, your environment service account, or all instances in the network where you create your environment. I'll apply my firewall rule to a network tag called my tag and the destination filter will be the private Google API's IP range, that is 199.36.153.8/30. Skip source filter, it is not needed. Allow TCP port 443. Finally, click on create. There you go, the firewall rule is created. Next step is to allow nodes to communicate with each other. For this, add a firewall rule that allows egress for all TCP and UDP ports. Set the destination to the environment subnet primary IP range. The subnet primary IP range is the same as the node IP range. In this environment, the range is 10.128.0.0/20. After adding this firewall rule, here's how it looks. Now, allow connectivity from nodes to pods in your environment's cluster. For this, add a firewall rule that allows egress for all TCP and UDP ports. Set the destination to the pod secondary IP range. This is how it looks after adding this firewall rule. Next, allow connectivity from the nodes to the GK control plane IP range. For this, add a firewall rule that allows egress for all TCP and UDP ports. Set the destination to the GK control plane IP range. After adding this firewall rule, the list of rules will look as shown here. Finally, it is recommended that your private IP environments communicate internally through private service connect instead of VPC peerings. Private Service Connect (PSC) connects the Composer Service Project and the Composer Tenant Project without the use of VPC peerings. PSC is preferred over VPC peerings because VPC peerings have limitations that can become more evident in large-scale networks. PSC is the default option for private IP environments. By default, when you create a Composer environment, the environment subnet will be used for the PSC endpoint. You only need a firewall rule for PSC if you want to use a different subnetwork for the PSC endpoint. In my example, I'll use the default option. Yay! You have successfully configured all the firewall rules. Alright, now that you have configured the firewall rules, create a Cloud Composer environment. Congratulations! You have successfully created a private IP Cloud Composer environment in a project with configured firewall rules. 
Before concluding, I would like to share a couple of caveats. If your project has non-default firewall rules, that is, overridden implied firewall rules or modified pre-populated rules, then you should configure firewall rules. Or if your project has a firewall rule that denies all egress traffic, then Cloud Composer might fail to create an environment. To avoid such issues, you can define the selective allow rules shown on this video and give them a higher priority than the deny egress rule. For more information about Composer firewall rules, check out this documentation. Thank you for watching. Thank you.